Why don't you talk to your once best friend anymore? About half a year before us falling out her boyfriend broke up with her. She was super upset and for some reason completely cut me out of her life. We spent the everyday together and at that point we were friends for 7 years, but I just continued being the supportive friend and messaged her once in a while to see if she was doing alright. She would ignore me. This went on for about 4 months. Out of the blue one day in September she messages me and asks to meet up for lunch. I'm ecstatic because I missed her and we meet up that afternoon. It was good and she told me she was seeing a therapist and we just let the elephant in the room sit in the corner. We didn't discuss her reasons for cutting me out. Then at the end of the conversation, she says that her and her ex got back together. My response was okay, is that really good for you? I honestly like the guy and still hang out with him once in a while now, but he was not a very good boyfriend to her. He manipulated her, laid hands on her multiple times. Made her and her parents' relationships rocky at best, and then cheated on her with three different girls all at the same time. However, he claimed he was a changed man and she fell for it. Eventually around October he breaks up with her again, claiming he has found someone better. His place is a few blocks from mine so she comes over and is absolutely hysterical. I put her in mine and my boyfriend's bed and just hold her for a little and try to calm her down. It was about 11pm and I had classes the next day, but my boyfriend at the time slept on the couch so that she and I could be alone. After an hour or two I got up and went to go get her some water or whatever she asked for. I come back to her swallowing a bunch of pills she had in her bag in a Ziploc bag which was unmarked. I immediately put my fingers in her mouth to try to make her throw up, scream at my boyfriend to call an ambulance, and she's completely melancholic and won't tell me what she swallowed. Ambulance came, she went to the hospital, they admitted her to a psych ward for monitoring, and when she was released she seemed broken. Would not eat, would not drink, smoked a lot. And for a few months she was like a puppy and followed me everywhere. I didn't mind and invited her to Thanksgiving, and even preemptively to Christmas with my family. At the end of November, another friend of mine passed away and I'm having a tough time. She refuses to lend an ear and let me cope, claiming her problems are much worse than mine. Fast forward another week. And I get dropped once again. No communication, nothing. It's radio silence from her as soon as I needed a friend to support me instead of everyone else supporting her. A few months later she messages me and says she needs to talk. I think, okay, one last failed ditch attempt. Go to Starbucks near my place, order drinks and sit down. Her first words to me are you're the worst friend I've ever had. You're a degenerate and a waste of space, and I hate you for not letting me pass like I wanted. Don't you see, I lost him, he was my everything. I let her yell at me for about 10 minutes then I'd had enough at this point. I said when things in your life are going right, when you have a boyfriend, a husband, a family. You'll remember me and how bad of a friend I was for caring about you and loving you. She responded with you're just dumb. I dumped my drink on her, iced tea lemonade, which is by far the most dramatic, rude, and actual mean thing I've ever done, and I walked out, blocked her, and have not spoke to her ever since. It's been four years, and the mutual friends we'd still tell me she asks about me.